Hi guys, welcome to Dr. Davis Explains It All, and today we're going to be talking about panel discussions, symposiums, and, and forums. And these are the three different types of, of uh, oral group presentations. So when working in groups, you will experience times in which you will have to undertake public speaking roles and responsibilities. It's just kind of a part of it. As many people are a bit anxious or, or even just uninformed when it comes to public speaking, I thought I'd take the time to address the three main types of oral group presentations. And these three main types of oral group presentations are panel discussions, symposiums, and forums. All right, so panel discussions, or better yet, what is a panel discussion? According to your textbook, panel discussions assemble a small group of participants, usually individuals who are experts in a particular field, to engage in a free exchange of information and ideas on a specific issue or a problem or a topic. So this exchange between individuals usually takes place in front of an audience. The purpose of a panel discussion they can vary, but generally speaking, they're used to solve different problems to inform the audience on an issue or a topic of interest, or even just to get audience members thinking about the pros and cons of a controversial topic. You'll see these a great deal in um, professional conferences that you might attend in your future careers. All right, so with symposiums, so let's, let's discuss what symposiums are. A symposium is a relatively structured group presentation given to an audience. So instead of it being a discussion on a stage between individuals like we have here, as you can see, each of these individuals have a microphone and they kind of just wait their turn to talk, but they're all discussing at the same time. Whereas a symposium is different. A symposium is, um, it's a presentation given to an audience. So it's not really a discussion on the stage, it's a presentation given to an audience. And these presentations are comprised of several individuals who present uninterrupted speeches with different or even contrasting viewpoints on, a t on the topic at hand, whatever the topic is. So you can see this individual right here at the podium speaking, and each one of these individuals will eventually make their way to the podium and speak on the topic as well. So. Um, symposiums are different than panel discussions in that speakers don't engage in a discussion with each other like we saw right here on the panel discussions. They, um, rather they, each speaker presents a brief speech, usually about four to six minutes in length, addressing a separate portion of an overall topic. So here it looks like it's the Latin trade symposium, so of course I'm sure each one is presenting some kind of great information on trade. So according to your textbook, the purpose of a symposium is to enlighten an audience on a controversial issue or even just to inform audience members on a subject of interest. And then lastly, we have forum discussions. And a forum discussion allows members of an audience listening to a speech or a panel discussion or a symposium or even a debate for that matter, to participate in this, the discussion of ideas. So here in the panel discussion, we only have these individuals dialoguing with each other. Somebody says something, they wait their turn, somebody else said something, and so forth. So they're not really dialoguing with the audience, the audience is just watching, they're dialoguing with each other. On a symposium, we have someone at a podium that's giving a speech to the audience, and the audience isn't asking questions or anything like that. But in a forum discussion, everybody is like one big giant discussion. We have subject matter experts usually that are on the stage, the speakers, who are discussing the topic at hand, whatever it is, and we have people in the audience who are participating as well. So they might interject an opinion on something, they might ask a question or so forth. So the audience is a lot more interactive when it comes to when it comes to a forum discussion. So a forum discussion allows members of an audience listening to a speech or a panel discussion or a symposium or a debate to actually participate in the discussion of ideas. So the primary purpose of this type of forum is to engage the audience in the discussion topic at hand. So with that being said, what type of presentation might you be interested in attending one day? Personally, I've attended and even participated in all three of these different types of oral group presentations, and you really just never know when in your career you might have to do the same. So I hope this helps to better explain what each of the three 
um, oral group presentations are so you understand it. And I hope um, you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for attending Dr. Davis Explains It All.